Hey, I'm Chris from Cinti Studios. In our last video, we looked at adding custom collision to Unity. You can check out that video here. In today's video, we'll be doing a similar thing in Unreal Engine, adding custom collision to this doorway that we have from our Polygon Cyber City Pack. Well, as you can see, the collision currently blocks our windows. Once we create some custom collision in Blender, we'll then be able to shoot through the window. And if we want to just compare the two, we can swap this over to Player Collision, and you can see the window cut out on our new collision. So we'll jump over into Blender and take a look at what I set up previously. So we have our original model, and then all the individual pieces that make up our collision. And it's just a basic shape to go with our model. So we'll start this from scratch, so we'll get rid of all of our collision. And go back to our original model. And Shift A, we'll create a cube. And the first part we'll be making is this side pillar. So we'll scale this down. And if we bring that up into the middle, then S to scale, Z to constraint on the Z axis, we'll get the rough height that we want. And Shift D to duplicate that. X to constrain on the X axis, and we'll bring that over to the other side. Then we'll scale this a little bit more, S to scale and X to constrain on the X axis to match the rough size. Then we'll do the same for the top and the bottom. Then we'll select all four pieces, Shift D to duplicate and X to constrain on the X axis. As the other window is roughly the same size, we'll just drag it across. And we'll make any adjustments that we need. And the last part for our model, we'll just fill up this middle part of the door. Now the most important part of this when we're exporting out for Unreal Engine is the naming of all of these pieces of our model. So to start off, we'll copy out the name of our original model. We'll grab this first chunk of our collision. We'll paste in the name of our model. And at the start, you see X underscore. And then at the end, we'll just add an underscore O1. Then we'll go through the rest of these collision models and we'll increment the number at the end of each one. When we're done, we should have something that looks a bit like this. So we have our original model and then all the pieces of our collision. So these pieces here will make up our collision when importing to Unreal. And the UCX at the start of the name will tell Unreal Engine to ignore the model and treat it like collision. So we'll select all the collision and our model. We'll go File, Export, FBX. And I have my presets here for Unreal Engine, but essentially we want to limit to selected objects. And then everything here selected will be exported out into a single FBX file. And we'll select the file and we'll override that. Now back into Unreal Engine, we'll get rid of this other door. We'll re-import the model that we've just fixed up. Then if we take a look at this model here, if we change this to Player Collision, you can see our new collision mesh that we've generated using Blender. And if we press play, we'll pick up our gun. We can now shoot through the window. So you are able to generate your own collision in Unreal Engine, but doing it in Blender will just give you a bit more flexibility as to what you can create. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.